Another great drill for speed is what I call 30, 40, 50. Again, depending on your skill level, you can do this from 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet. In my case, we're gonna do it from 30 feet, 40 feet, 50 feet. Again, don't be afraid to do this either by yourself or with, your, with a friend or with your son or daughter. This is a great competitive game, um, but it's a team game, which is good because all I'm here is I'm at 30 feet away from the hole. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna hit these up here really quick. And I'm just trying to hit them at the hole. Now, I've hit all my putts here, okay? And now what my object is, is I have to take my worst putt and I have to make all five from basically this location, which is my worst putt. So if you're having a partner, in this case, the partner has to make them. And then when you guys achieve this drill, you flip flop, okay? So all I would do here for me to accomplish this, I would make all five. Once I do that, I would go and put the tee at 40 feet and I would do the whole process all over again. Hit all five putts up here, take your worst, make all five from there and go on and then you do it from 50 feet. Again, a partner drill, it's good because it puts pressure on yourself. You don't want to let your partner down. The person hitting the long putts has to hit him up here close. The guy that's putting the short putts, obviously he's got a three footer, he's got to make five of them. He's going to feel a little bit of pressure. So it's a great way to start getting competitive with your practice and that will really help you translate it to the to the course. You guys have learned a lot today when we've talked about the putting series and there is a lot of information here but what you guys have to understand is that the basic factors of technique all we're looking for is we're looking for the grip in the palms we're looking for the left eye over the ball and we're looking for you to keep that triangle those are some simple ways for you to really improve you know, and get the idea of what it takes for putting. Putting is the most individual part of the game. So again, if you want to stand a little bit taller for you, for you, that's fine. If you're a little bit more bent over for you, that's fine. But remember those basic techniques. Remember, from there we progressed into the three factors that went into making a putt, and that's speed, roll, and break. Speed is related to practice. Roll is related to technique, and break is related to experience. All reading greens are is just basically imagining where is the water going to roll. If you start nailing your speed and you nail your roll, then you can learn how to read greens more. But again, just by lining up that line, it's really gonna improve and allow you to see that every putt's a straight putt. If this thing is breaking a foot to the right, I'm aiming a foot to the left, I hit it and it breaks to the right. So again, after that, remember, I want you to become one of two players. You can either become a scientist or a judge. A judge is the person we do not wanna be. We do not wanna be um, get upset when we miss a putt. Making putts is a process, okay, or actually making putts is the outcome, and we cannot control the outcome. It is the process that goes into making putts, and that is having the right speed or the correct speed, having good roll, which is technique, and then having our best guesstimate as far as reading the break. Once you do that, you're going to start making more putts. Remember, as you do that, you might become an eye guy or a feel guy. I don't care which one you are, but practice on the putting green, and when you determine which guy you are, that's the one that you're gonna rely on under pressure when you have to make that putt at the end of the hole. So I hope you take this knowledge, I hope you enjoyed this DVD, and I hope you enjoy these games that I've taught you that will make your practice a lot more fun. And what's gonna happen with that is you're gonna be able to practice for a shorter amount of time and get way better. I can take a five-year-old and take him out to the putting green and have him just hit putts, but that's not the way to improve. So use these drills, use these games, and we'll see you making more putts in the future.